Yo, 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 yo. Listen, this is a two part video, so stay to the end. We just need, we just gonna get a real brief synopsis. We gonna get, take a deep dive of how Uncle Charleston feel about Drake, for real. Now, due to all this stuff that's been going on with Kendrick Lamar, been tearing, uh, uh, tearing Drake out of the frame, pause. We gonna look at, so we gonna listen to some wisdom and see, you already know he funny as hell too. But let's get it. Again, it's gonna be a two part video. So just stay to the end because it, you don't wanna miss out on this. You don't wanna miss out. He, he doing predictions and everything. Hold on. All right, bet. Let's ride it. 17 years. You don't think there'll never be another Drake? Somebody who can last that long and, and rap? Or does he not count because he's Jewish or because he- He don't count it, because he's Jewish and he white. Hmm. Okay, so let me ask you this. What about- uh, If Drake was black like Bernie Mac, he would have been gone. Hmm. If Drake was a dark skin, none good her- Light-skinned nigga, if he was black and ugly, like that nigga you fought. If that nigga <laughs> looked like, if Drake looked like Sauce Woody, nigga, please. They, man, they, I wouldn't give a damn how good that music is. They wouldn't, man, they wouldn't a damn hell now. So looks matter. Color matter. Kodak Black is dark as fuck. Didn't you hear what I said? Color matter. Not looks, color. Color. Name me one dark skin artist. We can go from Michael to Whitney, who gets to go top those charts like that. Name me one. I, I just said Kodak Black. He don't top them charts like Drake. Whitney, when he came out, he had, he had a, he got a few, well. Not like Whitney, no ones. listen, right, I'm tripping. you tripping. Yeah, you tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> Come on, man, hey. nigga, didn't you just see the white Hey, that's what I like about Charleston White. When it sound like you backing him into a corner, that shit would just dawn you and you like, damn, I'm the one that's tripping. <laughs> that, that motherfucker be right as hell, bro, sometimes. Hey. Glove Drake did. The symbol that he just topped the charts with the same Michael, Jack, Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, that's legendary. Yeah, yeah no, Kodak tripping. Black ain't, um, ain't do that, no, ain't do that. Who's went number one that's been like dark? That's like black as fuck. Damn, Come that's on, that's something now. to think about. America still got a problem with black ass. Hey, this is an old video. That's why you got to rewind these old videos to compare them what's going on today. Because, you know what I'm saying, we wouldn't have been taking these deep dives like that. Bro, he just brought out dark-skinned people don't hit them charts like that. And if you really look, if you pay attention, I can't name them. I can't name a one. I cannot name a one right now. Yeah, people now. Man, Being that's at something the to front think about, of the face though. of anything, and we can't paint their face. And, and we're talking recent too, like in this in this day and age. Man, we can go from I, the time I was born to now. That's that's up there in those charts like that. I mean, Wayne Wayne is Wayne is in there. Wayne, Wayne is in the top uh, of those charts. Well, no, he he not up there with Michael, Whitney. Uh, he talking about over the like, yo Drake. Michael, Michael Jackson, and bro, they all over the world with it. Like all of, even though Wayne and them travel and stuff like that, bro, they, man, they impact is different, bro. They impact is different. Uh, the Beatles, he not up oh, there. Okay, oh, nah, okay, yeah. you, you're talking about that. No, okay. Yeah, Drake right. is up there with them, homie. Man. Yeah, you, yeah, you're right. You, you, you don't find that strange? Mm. Nothing's changed about his lyrics. He been singing the same. There's nothing new about how he sound. He's yeah. been having the same sound, oh, the same tune the whole entire time. And, and let, a, let a rapper get peed on, right? Because T.I. Homeboy peed on that nigga. Yeah, he did. On Drake. Yeah. Peed on him. I think I remember that. It's, it's documented. They was at a movie theater award. He was upstairs yep. peeing. Nigga peed I, on Drake. I remember yeah. that. I remember that. Drake didn't do nothing. Puff is supposed to slap him or something. Let another rapper get that. done like he's been done. And think that he can still reign. And he painting his fingernails now. And let me say this too. I don't think a black artist could be an actor and come over to rap and dominate like that. I don't think a black guy could Oh, he, do that. Oh, he was an actor? Yeah, on a grassy. Degrassi, Degrassi, right? Yeah, Degrassi. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Bro, that's hey, that's what I fuck with this dude, bro. It's look at he looking, look how he looking, bro. Yo, what the fuck is that? I don't know no damn Degrassi. I, I was out in the street. They don't know about no damn Degrassi. It was, it's a, it's a show. Look, oh, look I don't know nothing about it. It must be on. Some, yeah, it must be on. Some he white. was a real actor. Look, and he blinking with one eye. He said, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> oh, look. oh man, look look well, at that one eye blinking, bro. Uh, that explains it. <laughs> Oh shit, I told you it was a two part video. Let's get it. Let's go get some more. You also said that Drake um was promoting that could have one eye again. Homo. And we don't get mad at him. So you go go there, huh? But we get mad at Lil Nas X. So we you you go you go go there. You go get me on here and do me like that. Yeah, hey, I, I, I I'm just Yeah, hey, 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 I told you do your homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it, man. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, girls kissing girls. Girls kissing girls, and and Drake oh, yeah. promotes a lesbian on you know girl on girl sex a lot in his in his lyrics, right? Mm -hmm. But I think I think that's more rap culture too. Remember, he was like, "Now any y'all into girls like I am? Let's be honest, damn that yo, bro. That's why uh, yo, that's crazy because it yo you gotta go now. We gotta go back in time to see you know what I mean? Just like with Drake album cover with all them pregnant women." Ain't nobody was thinking about nothing when he came out with that shit. But now all these allegations coming out, everybody going back, everybody going back, doing their research. You know, girls having threesomes with girls and girls liking girls. That's always been uh, a thing. So I, is boy I, I on boy. I wouldn't pin that on Drake, though. Boy, boy, listen, Drake. Boy, boy on boy is rap culture. You didn't know? No. Yeah, it is. I don't think that's Prison. Right. Prison. You, hold on, prison. They got a fan back there? You pr Going to jail in prison is part of rap culture, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boy on boy. Boy on boy. It's accepted in now. But we haven't, we don't have a, uh, we haven't had a street rapper to come out and, and say he was gay. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't need one to come out and say they was gay. We done had some of them caught with transsexuals. A young Buck. Them. A lot of them. Young oh, Buck. Yeah. Uh, young uh, Buck. Uh, they had a video Valentino. with, with, they had a video with uh, Scrappy yeah. and some more people in a, an apartment full of transsexuals. Yeah. Uh, they go to parties with transsexuals. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, 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 Mace done been caught with one. Eddie Murphy done been caught with one. Uh, uh I know about Eddie Murphy. I ain't know about Mace. Mace got caught with a transsexual, y'all? Damn. Uh, and then, not only that, Danny Boy, the boy from Death Row. Okay. Hanging with Tupac. He even said they knew he was kind of gay, homie. And he was over there. You man, you think didn't man come on, homie? The boy on boy is secretly accepted. Cause mm. we know when these niggas come out being bodyguards. We know when these niggas come home from being in prison 19, 20 years and they end up being bodyguards. Come on, homie. So I remember when I was a kid, homie, when, when we first started seeing transsexuals like on Mari Povich, and they say, Can you pick which one is a man? And you be sitting up there looking, that's a man right there. And it don't be a man. Uh, and the one you don't pick be, you remember that shit? Yeah, yeah I Man, remember. that used to fuck me up as a kid. Uh -huh. I used to think something was wrong with me because I couldn't pick the man. Right, right, but that would, that would be something. I ain't never been uncomfortable around them people. So to have Lil Nas X come out, to have, and he ain't no gangster rapper. He never portrayed to be a gangster rapper. But look how they doing it. They doing it with the streamers now. They doing it with the streamers. You see how they got all them streamers in the prison dressing in the prison uniforms? Bro, they put, man, they pushing all that evil onto our people, bro. Check it he out. He came out singing Old Town Country Road over there with them white honky-tonk boys. Uh-huh. So. Lil Nas X was straight at first. Bro, they got video of Lil Nas X before he even came in the rap game. Like, bro, I don't, like, I don't get down like that. None of He's saying pause and everything, bro. They got all them type of videos, man. They turned him like that. Just like they did Young Thug. Young Thug was never gay. But honestly, I don't think Young Thug was ever gay. Young Thug, they made Young Thug like that because he's now their property. He come out and make a video, right? Hey, I'm gay, y'all. Just hey, like all, I'm gay. Tyler Creator said he was gay, didn't he? Yeah. Tyler Creator said he was gay. We done heard rumors 
We done heard rumors and rumors about so many different other rappers and ball players being gay. We done had transsexuals come out and show proof. Hey, Dwight Howard like men. Yep. Long niggas. You see, we done had our folk with evidence. We ignore that. Yeah. We ignore that. Lil Wayne and baby kissing. We ignore that. Turk coming out saying, man, we, we ignore that. But this one guy, homie, this one guy brave enough to come out and say, hey, man, I, I, I'm gay in the motherfucker. And I hadn't really been singing y'all music. Y'all mm -hmm. hadn't really been supporting me. The white country art fans really made me, y'all. You see what I'm saying? The white, so he make one video sliding down to the pole with the devil. Ain't no different than Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B now with the shit they saying. Wear the ass pussy. And they on there and they, and they bumping them pussies together when they performing. And you see what I'm saying? They rubbing them asses together. And the, and the girls on stage, they, they freaking each other. Yeah. Ain't no difference. So then he make a video. I'm finna tell you what touched everybody nerve. The boy made a video with prison jumpsuits on. Yeah. Yeah, sending I a subliminal message I to everybody that everybody in prison is homosexual. You know why? The truth hurts. That's when he got the backlash from the black community and all the men say, let's cancel this nigga. He touched the nerve. Hey, y'all remember when that Detroit boy, I had did a short on it. The Detroit boy came out and said that it's a lot of homos in, in, in prison. Couple weeks later, they found him and two of his friends in the body. In the, in the body, bro, it was it was deleted in the in the uh, abandoned warehouse. Y'all remember that? Nerving them boys. He touched the nerve in them boys. And all the gay men know everybody who talking out against gay people is the one secretly back door catching them in the back alleys. Say y'all sucking dick in the park, nigga. How you know, nigga? Yeah, how you know where they play it? <laughs> so, I was happy to see the baby get counseled. I was happy in the motherfucker. Mm. Okay, yeah, the baby and Dave Chappelle. Well, this is what I say. Oh, so he's saying, oh. Cause the baby was on stage at Rolling Loud, like you, yeah, y'all talking about uh, gay people, or whatever. Ah, uh, and then he was on Club Shay Shay saying that he was at a Diddy party. Diddy, bro, the baby had said Diddy had got everybody out of his house because he took a liking to him, and Diddy just wanted him to party with him. Damn. Go this stand on crazy, the corner bro. and say what you want to say, nigga. But you ain't finna stand on these people platform and say it. I learned my lesson. You see me, now, I ain't fucking with them Asian people no more. <laughs> Shit, I'll say, man, they put them lashes across my ass. Shit, you see, I quit fucking with them people. How you think in the gays running the world now? The gays run the penitentiary. So how in the fuck you think you go bash these people and get on their platform and they ain't go counsel you? So when they counseled that nigga and he went to hide about, oh, I'm sorry. I want to meet with 12 AIDS organizations. I said, oh, they broke him. <laughs> he can go back to performing now. Look at Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon insulted them Jewish people. Boy, they got him on primetime TV on Fox 4. Man, he, man, he back popping. But they, they, they put them lashes across his ass. They made him denounce Farrakhan. Damn. They made him come out and say, hey, I learned about the real Jews. I was fucking with y'all. Niggas ain't the real Jews. He backpacked all that shit. <laughs> And look at him now. His face just as clear as he can be. His yeah, yeah, boy, he look healthy. He he yeah, man, wilding out, doing good. Prime time numbers doing good. They go teach your ass, boy. You go dance hey, to they tune. They call it buck breaking. That nigga doing said, "Why look?" They go teach your ass, boy. He, he, yeah. he said, look, you're looking healthy, your teeth white, you got there, you got curls in your head, you're glistening, boy. Wilding out, doing good, you're able to play, pay all your employees. <laughs> Man, wilding out, doing good, prime time numbers doing good. They go teach your ass, boy, you go dance to they uh, tune. They call hey. it buck breaking. So, yeah, yeah, any nigga think he can't be buck broke. You might as well just stay in front of the stove talking to them niggas because you ain't getting on none of these platform, nigga, and you ain't and you ain't go break. That's real shit, bro, cause the A, hey, 
the Bible say the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So you really gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta dodge all this shit. Even truth speakers, they gotta try to dodge it as much as possible. You gotta put a little filter on just to be on these people platform. We don't run none of this, bro. Black people don't run shit. They're giving shit, you know what I mean? Like, yo, ain't none of this shit ours, bro. Target ain't ours, Walmart ain't ours, you know what I mean? YouTube ain't ours, Twitter ain't ours, the internet ain't ours, none of this shit, bro. None of it. Y'all let me know what y'all feel in the uh, comment section, man. Uncle Charleston be cooking, bro. Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, man.